Hi, I'm Heimbach. Good to have you back. As you know, I love magnetic tape. Be it cassette, dictaphone or reel-to-reel, -reel, I enjoy the sound and what you can make of it. That is why I'm very happy to finally found one of the nicest players for creating experimental music. The Library of Congress C1. I've been looking for one of these for a long time and in Europe they are unobtainium simply because they are property of the Library of Congress. This one still bears the sticker property of US government to return please contact special services division. And I think for a long time there was a ban on reselling these so there were none available on eBay. But recently I looked and there were two and I simply had to get it. So what is so special about these players? First of all, the controls that you have. You have a lovely slider for speed. You can switch between slow and fast speed. You can switch between the sides you're using. And you've got a slide for the tone and for the volume. This interface alone makes it more playable than any other cassette player that I know of. Apparently, it's also supposed to sound very good, but I couldn't try that yet, because this runs on 110 volts which is different to the 220 to 240 volts that we in Europe use. So I can't use this plug and the battery that came with it in this compartment is long dead and as you can see there's corrosion in there. So that is something I need to fix. Luckily this thing will run on a standard 9 volt battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this 9 volt battery case to the player, probably on the side, so I can easily exchange it and run it off this rechargeable battery. Let's see how long that lasts. So let's open this up and solder the 9 volt battery block to this. As you can see, they never wanted anybody to lose this thing, so they've got a really strong uh, piece of plastic here to hold this. Now there's corrosion here and there's even more corrosion here. The battery pack definitely leaked at some point, but I think these contacts will be still usable. First I need to check which side is plus and which side is minus. And I can see plus is here and that's the side that's most corroded and here's the corrosion there, so plus is down there. So plus needs to go here and minus needs to go here. So I've been rethinking my approach a bit. I'm not going to mount this outside because I would have to make a hole into this lid and I don't really want to do that. I'd like to keep it original. There you go. Velcro here and the strip of Velcro here. So now it's time to solder the wires. Let's clean this up and then close it and see if it works. Yes, it works. So I'm making a note here, huge success. Let's make some music.
So this is the first track I made using the library of Congress C1. I also employed the Coma Electronic Field Kit effects using the delay as its own plingy sound source for those water drop sounds into the spring reverb. I used the frequency shifter to add additional harmonics to the tape loop of cellos that is running here. And I played a voice plus cello recording on the OP1. The tape loop and the OP1 sounds were created with Bison Rouge Cello. I'll put her link in the description below. If we think of tape players as instruments, the C1 is a perfect instrument because the way the controls are laid out, it's very playable and you feel that you've got enough range to explore. The speaker on the C1 can go very loud, so you can use this as an amplifier for smaller shows. Also because it has an aux in. This makes for a nice distortion box or a clean amplifier. Now there are two things that speak against the C1. First of all, it's rather big, so not really portable. The second downside is you can't record on it. You'll always need another player to record your loops or your cassettes to work with. I'd still say that the C1 is a lovely tool and if you can get one in good condition, buy it. If you like the music in this video, you can find it on my Patreon. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye. One more thing, I've got a new album out. It's called Ambient Piano Works and is released on Xy Records, the label of the amazing Jogging House. It features piano pieces I recorded over the past year, processed with tape, be it dictaphone, cassette or reel to reel. Chances are that if you like this video, you'll also enjoy the music on this album. Go check it out. Thank you very much.